Germany has a long tradition of international building exhibitions dating back to the 1920s when modernist architects like Le Corbusier and Walter Gropius tested bold new models of housing. Now Hamburg has joined the tradition, where over the last seven years the industrial suburb of Willemsburg has been transformed into a live urban laboratory. I've come here to see four specific buildings which are each testing different kinds of sustainable technology. They're just outside, so let's go and have a look. So Uli, we're here at the International Building Exhibition in Hamburg. What, what is it all about? What is the IBA? An IBA is a driver of urban development and it is an exhibition. So it means it is a laboratory on the one hand and uh, uh, a, tool, a tool of uh, a comprehensive urban development. And these two aspects are very important and they are the specific features of International Building Exhibition. So what are these buildings behind us demonstrating in particular? How are you testing you know, ways of urban, urban development? These are examples for our smart material and smart price houses. The LG house is an example of a smart material house. Um, these three houses over there are dealing with the uh, issue of affordable housing. They are smart price houses because we need in our cities affordable housing. So what we wanted to demonstrate is that it is possible to build uh, by prefabrication in a very affordable uh, way and in a very aesthetic way as well. So we're standing in front of an apartment building that appears to be bubbling and belching. What's going on inside here? Well, that is a so-called bioreactor facade, a house covered with panels in which algae produce biomass and heat. The right. heat is used in the house for heating and warm water production, and the biomass is used for energy production. And, and why does it need to keep bubbling? What, what's, what's this for? Because a single algae, which remains at a, at a certain uh, position, gets too much light. Okay. And so a single algae must be transported from the surface where it you have high radiation mm. to the depth of the panel right. where it is more it's darker it's shadowed by the other algae yeah. so the algae is moving from the surface to the back and moving and that is very 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 rapid process yeah. and that makes algae moving from surface so where does all the technology happen do you have a, a big plant room in the building yes we have <laughs> that is the tank where we where we harvest the algae. And is there a possibility one day that you could recycle the grey water from the houses yes. upstairs into this system yes. somehow? Yes, that's what we will do within the next one or two years. We will establish here a, a device which uses the wastewater coming from the house. And would that also purify the water? Yes, it will be purified and we will produce uh, biogas from the organic wastes in the wastewater yeah. and the residues, the nutrients will be recycled in our Bioactive facade. Wow. So we will establish, if you come here in a year or so, you will see such a system. So then it will be a completely contained system yes. that cleans yes. your water, provides yes. your energy, and creates right. biomass. That's right. The That's miracle right. building. Yes. <laughs> The outside of the building, the most striking thing is these amazing strips of curtains that come down over the roof. What function are they providing? Well, they try to combine three things. Energy harvesting with that photovoltaics mounted okay. here on. Um, have a nice, wonderful view. So the, these curtains, you can rotate them individually to follow they the path of the sun? Is that they how rotate works? as the sun rotates. So it's a building behaving like a sunflower in a way, yeah, kind of following it. the path. So Klaus, you're the architect of the wood cube. What, what's special about the wood cube? Yes. Yeah, the, the, the very special thing of the wood cube is that uh, it's made uh, completely of wood. The structure is completely of wood and the wood is not fixed without any glue or with any building chemicals. So right. it's a, a, a just a wooden box. Yeah, it smells a bit like coming into a sauna or a kind of alpine lodge. <laughs> And this is a section of, of actually how it's made, like how it all goes together? Yeah, this is the a sample for the, for the structural um, shell of the, of the building. Mm. The ceilings, the real wooden ceilings yeah. and the walls. And they are fixed together with this 
plugs. Yeah. yeah? It's a beech wood and it's uh, drilled in the wood and then yeah. the different levels are fixed without any glue. Okay. Just because of the different types of wood and uh, the natural moisture within these two different kind of wood. And this is all done in a factory? You have kind of prefabricated walls that are then brought into the site? Yes, yes. Okay. So you can uh, make different size of walls yeah, and uh, then bring it to the site yeah. and build up the building within. The wood cube was built up in two and a half weeks. And, and so this below us, is this a, a build up of the actual wall structure here? Yes. These are the different layers. So, so, so what do we have going through the building? So um, the, the main th element is the load-bearing core. Okay. These are boards, yeah, you see here. It's running vertical through the whole building. Yeah. And then you have different layers of, of wooden boards, you see here, with profiles. Okay. Then you have here soft wood panels. And that's providing insulation as this, well? Uh, this uh, improves the insulation of yeah. the wall. Okay. And then on the outside, you have just another layer of this soft wood mm. and then another layer of, of uh, the wooden facade. Okay, so this is the cladding on the yes. outside of the building. If, if there is a fire inside or outside, it means needs up to 240 minutes mm. before the fire is on the, on the structural element. Right, right. So it's also part of the fire protection okay. system of the wall. So can you imagine a future of completely wooden cities then? Not completely, yeah. But, uh, but I think it's, it's a chance to repair cities, yeah, to fill in gaps, mm. to make uh, t extensions to cities. Yeah, and um, though I think wood is a, is, a, is a very historical, but a very uh, functional and uh, um, building material with a, with a mm. which has a big future. With so many different technologies on show, the result of Hamburg's IBA can look a bit like an architectural zoo, each block shouting its eco-credentials louder than the next. But by testing new ideas, these radical prototypes might begin to influence how we can develop our cities in a more sustainable, energy-efficient way.